that? We got a flat tire. It's Kevin parked in a car park and a tire's flat. Hey, but not for much longer. <laughs> Doing a good job there, Hen. Thanks. Be back on the road in no time. Oh no. Okay, so we woke up with a flat tire, got someone out to change it, the spare tire is flat. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere fast. Funny thing, he doesn't speak a lick of English, and um, so I'm not too sure what we're gonna do here. Poor guy just spent like an hour in the heat changing the tire. We're not allowed to touch it. They said apparently if you have a flat tire or anything, you're not allowed to touch anything, you just gotta call them. So we called them. Now the spare's flat. At least we might not have to pay for it, because that's not really our fault. Oh well that's an interesting way to start the last day in the camper, wake up with a flat tyre, get someone to come and fix it and then the spare's flat so we're just going to go look for food because we are stranded yeah look at it, not a bad place to be stranded really eh? this is one serious lunch best thing is when you can find local places to eat we found this spot or you can eat, it's like a buffet 7 euro for a big buffet mm. Maybe getting a flat tire isn't so bad after all. All right, update on the old tire situation. We've still got the flat spare on. Someone's gonna come and pick us up at like 2.30 apparently. But they're trying to charge me for two tires. So I've got to sort out, the guy, some guy on the phone said that we have to pay for t both flat tires. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm sure we'll sort it out because that's crazy. But yeah, I think we're just gonna wait in the car park till 2.30 till we get this tires fixed and then uh, and then we'll be on our way, on our merry way. Always gotta look at the bright side of life, you know? <laughs> Just for vlog purposes though, this is the spear tire that we got put on. Funny thing is though, it's got dirt all through the tire. Like Before we leave, since I never actually showed you around our new van, because we switched vans, because we got we had like the older model and lots of things didn't work, so then they switched it for us in Lisbon. So for the second week, or for like the first half of the trip, we had the old van, and then we've had this one for the first half which is like the same thing but just one year later it's 2017 model not 2016 and everything is like still very similar like it all looks the same sink slightly smaller but everything's like a lot newer and that means it's just like a lot better do you like this one much better mm -hmm. oh and there's like heaps more room on this so i would suggest like if you're trying to look for a camper look see if you can get like the newer model because there's a big difference in like one year which like quite surprised me and of course it didn't cost any more we were still getting the newer model it's just like more room it's more well organized like there's not the car's no bigger it's just like well spaced out and the seats are nicer and all that jazz so if you're getting a camper try to get the newer models and yes we're still waiting for our tow man it's gonna be interesting having this thing on a tow truck I want to stay in the bed while they tow us. Back in the Safe trip. Later, mate. Oh. See you Thanks for an awesome trip. Thank you. <laughs> See you next week. Interesting situation. They're trying to make me pay for two tires. I don't really want to pay for two tires. It's like 300 and something euro. 350 euro, I think it was, for two tires. But I shouldn't do that because we only need to pay for one because the spare one was flat. Someone asked one of the last campers obviously changed the last spare without asking but you're meant to call them first we'll figure it out soon crew and then we'll be able to go to our airbnb and chillax hey, chillax sad into van life it's been all right we've just been doing nothing hey there i'm on the phone with the um, with my supervisor give me just two seconds and i will call you back okay they're on to it yes Oh, I also need to sell my surfboard while I'm here, so if anyone wants to buy a surfboard, though by the time I put this up, it's probably already sold. I'll buy it. Only we could go in it too. Alright, here's the tow truck. It's all action on now, man. Well, let's get our stuff out so we don't have to go to the depot. We're getting a ride, we're getting a little ride from, uh, you know, dropped off at our new location, at our Airbnb, and um, we're getting a ride in this camper <laughs> that the guy from the cam Indie Campers company came from. Look at this car. This, we just thought it was a van, but it's a camper van. Look at, like, look at that. Look how big the fridge is. Wait. That's it's huge. Insane. And there's gas cookers on there. Heads on a seat that obviously oh. slides out into there. Yo, look at this thing. It's just like a van. This is definitely like, I've been thinking about getting a van back in New Zealand, I don't know if I've mentioned that. Something like that. 
So like that would be absolutely ideal. I don't think I will though, that would be really expensive. But man, it looks nice. I feel like if they had a bigger roof, this would be like ideal, the ideal camper van. Trains are free, right? Camper vans aren't. That's it. Two weeks on the road, or it was like 10 days, wasn't it? That was for two weeks. Two weeks. Two week road trip done and dusted right through Portugal. I definitely think we'll be back doing that again. We're not leaving Portugal, we're here for another nine days actually just staying in an Airbnb. We're waiting because we can't check until 3 p.m. It's like 10 past two. Man, it's been a big day. We had, uh, we had an indie camper camper van the whole way through. I loved the camp, like I love everything about the brand, the style, everything. I don't know if I can recommend indie campers 100%. You say no? I, would, I wouldn't recommend them because I wouldn't use them again. You wouldn't? And knowing what I know today, I wouldn't have booked with them. Really? I don't know because I love, I love like the whole brand. I love the look of all the vans. I like the best looking van ever. We look like swag. I don't know, indie campers, I'm trying to throw you a bone here. We've just had like one thing after another after another. That's been like really hard to like make me want to love you. <laughs> I try, I try to post like good reviews. I don't want to post a negative one. And this is definitely not a negative. Indie campers are very good, but uh, yeah, we had, we had some some struggles with them. Maybe next time we'll buy our own camper. That would probably be a smarter move, no? Yeah. If you got any suggestions on what I should do for campers in New Zealand, um, oh, let me know because I want to buy one. The, the California one? It was a V Dub V Dub, v -dub camper. V yeah, the one that we got a ride here with that I just showed you before is like awesome. It's a V Dub camper that they made in California or something. It looks amazing. So something like that would be like ideal. That'd be like glamping though. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, it was sick. Anyway. We've got 40 minutes to wait on the side of the road yeah. before we can check into our Airbnb. It's been a bit of a wait around kind of day. Some days we have those days, you know? I'm excited to see what an Airbnb looks like though. So let's take 40 minutes time right now.